all the day was in a classroom. I was super busy and I had no chance to to shoot even one minute of footage. So that's why I'm really sorry. To save the situation, we decided to talk a little bit about one trip we did the po in the past. Which year was that? It was in on 2007, I think. Yeah. So. Our faces will be covered with a microphone during this episode just because we are writing in a room where there's a super high echo and uh, we have no other options just because outside is really dark. Uh, that was 2007 and we went to Papua New Guinea, uh, probably one of the, one of the most, sh I cannot say we be, we were shocked, but there was a lot of interesting things which you cannot see anywhere else. It's probably one of the places around the world where you can see something extraordinary, where people still live the way as they lived, I don't know, maybe a thousand years ago. So nothing has really changed. And, um, and it was, that's why it was so interesting that when the... Uh, evolution meets that people from the past. During this episode we will just talk about some funny um, situations which we experienced in Papua New Guinea. Um, just to explain that was a group of 30 people who went to Papua New Guinea. I was the organizer of it. And uh, the plan was to half of the trip to dive. And another trip we went to the highlands and I think the most in most interesting part was this highlands because there's still tribes living who who saw the first uh, people from outside they saw only 50 or now it's gonna be around 70 years ago can you imagine people who never seen other peoples they just maybe the nearest tribe and no one else right so it was super funny. Uh, can you tell about that? Um, when we arrived, remember when we arrived at Tari? What was the first thing what actually really uh, surprised you? Yeah, when we arrived in Tari, we saw so many local people who came just to look at the airplane which arrived. It was we thought, oh, we like a, like a president just arrived, <laughs> something like that. Because so, so many locals came just watch to the airplane and tourists which arrived. So yeah, there was a that that's uh, there was a fence around the airport. You will see that from the video, and there was a thousands of people who just came, and and you cannot imagine these people with the it, the the tribe which is living there. It's called Wigmans, so that means they are actually cutting hair since they were kids and making the wigs for everyday use and then there is also for some uh, celebrations as well so that was super funny and uh, <laughs> so about the guide so the guide was a really funny guy and of course we were in Papua New Guinea where been the people they've been eating people for a really long time and the funny story was that we were asking him uh, are you still eating people here and he said no no it's prohibited 
you actually can get into the jail if you eat people but at the same time that all he told us it was so like full of emotions like they've been eating these people yesterday and uh, yeah that was funny and uh <laughs> What else? It was super cold in the mountains, actually. Uh, we lived like 2,400 meters above the sea level. And during the night time, um, we, we were sleeping in a lodge and it was super cold. Uh, and uh, the solution for that was... In the turret there was uh, like a mattress, which was uh, like a heat, right? There, there there was a it was plugged in the in the electricity so yeah th that was a heating mattress when we were in tari that they offered us uh momo what is a momo actually momo is it's a pig and it's cooked into the into the hole right so it's like it's they digging the hole then they making it in a on a bottom of the hole they making the fire and and when the when there is a fire then they put the stones in into the fire when uh, the stones becomes like a red color so then they start to put the um, banana leaves on it yeah. then momo momo it's just they take the pig and then they just like cut in the middle and they make like a carpet so then they put on the stones then they cover with uh, what was it covered with then again they cover it with banana leaves and then again they put hot stones on that banana leaves and again there was a banana leaves on that stones and then there they put the sweet potato batat and some other vegetables and again they cover that vegetables with banana leaves and then again they put hot stones and then wait some two or three hours to make you understand what we're talking about the pig in Papua New Guinea it's a um, it's like a kind of money for example if you want to uh, get married so then you have to pay to the family of your wife 30 pigs 3-0 30 pigs right I think I remember there was a 40 pigs not 30 more and uh, uh, one guy who worked in that resort where we stay he said ah I'm paying I'm still paying for my wife but they already was married some how many years they, some had, they had three kids already yeah and he said i'm still owe her her parents some four or five pigs what is actually interesting if you're not happy with your wife you can just give uh, the wife back to the parents uh, to the to, to her parents and then they have to give you pigs back you give it to the sister of the girl. So he count. He count the pig. I have a ten pig like this course, which is a big one, seven, eight hundred in a wood. I have a ten pig. And the second pig like that, I have a six or five hundred, four hundred. I have a ten pig like this, one hundred and below wood. Kind of. Right, so you use the, so it's like you're giving the, the actually the the wife back with all the kids and and you get your pigs back. What was that in? What was else interesting there? Some interesting story from there. You remember that hotel which we saw? Was there was hotel. nothing, and it was quite expensive. That a hotel. It's like a, it was like a hostel. That you have to understand in Papua New Guinea uh, there is no hotels there are only lodges and there are some just a place where you can sleep it's like a it's like a shelter 
made from the leaves and other stuff like uh, locals living and uh, and there is like a fireplace in the middle because at the night is really cold and there is no chimney at all so it's just all the smoke is going through the uh, going through the roof and that's why all the roof is black and uh, with the ash and that stuff Martin already explained everything so and that place where you was able to stay cost around ten dollars or fifteen dollars per night I remember when we went there uh, we were not allowed to bring anything like w when we went to the Papua New Guinea of course we tried to find some information uh, and someone told us oh you just take for the kids some pencils and, and notebooks and, and something else some paper candies or whatever but when we arrived actually we were prohibited or actually we were banned to do anything or somehow interact we were able to interact with them only during uh, we were actually lucky there was like a kind of festival right remember we were dancing together with them and that that was like a kind of local festival or it was it was especially made for us i don't know as uh, because visitors in that place is not really often okay thank you very much see you tomorrow see you tomorrow <laughs> Open the book of pain and in the world.